I'm here today with Dr. Tazi Brajwani, Senior Lecturer in Strategic Management and author of the book Aligning for Advantage. Taz, tell us why does the world need another book on strategy and also why now? Lorraine, there are many, many books out there focusing on strategy. What makes this book different is that we're focusing on the political and social aspects of strategy. And what we're looking at is basically how do companies maintain their advantage? And of course, most of the books focus on what we refer to as market-based strategies. In this book, we're looking at this concept of non-market strategy, where we're saying organizations out there are constantly being hit by political and social uncertainty. And the aim of the book is to dive into the tools and techniques to better manage those political risks and threats. And the title of the book is Aligning for Advantage. What do you mean by alignment in this context? Well, alignment has this origin in the word of lining up. It's a French verb. And essentially, that, that kind of alignment uh, origins are evident in this book. We're looking at how do organizations line up their market environment with their non-market environment. So it's aligning business strategy with the political and social strategies. And we look at all sorts of uncertainties out there. I mean, you just have to look at the news right now and you'll see there's a lot of uncertainty coming out from Ukraine. And then you've got North Africa, Syria. And globally, many organizations are impacted by political risk and social risks. And the aim of this book is to provide tools and techniques. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about the structure of the book and perhaps who the ideal audience would be? So this, the book is structured in four parts. We leverage on our experiences as academics, researchers, but also as uh, key researchers in this particular area. And the goal of this book was to create four parts, a uh, part focusing on the origins of alignment, looking at how do companies roll out alignment in terms of non-market architecture. Then we look at the actual details of information that you use to lobby government or influence social, uh, uh, social aspects of business like society. And then we get into this whole idea of implementation and how do you lead it. The key target of this book is MBA students, master students, executives out there that are impacted every day by social and political aspects of their working environment. Thank you very much, Taz. Thanks for your time today and also best of luck with the book. Thank you very much, Lorraine.